guys, welcome back to my channel, Ramadan Kareem. I hope you're all having a wonderful Ramadan so far. May this month be a blessing for all of us. Okay, so as you guys know, every year I do try to do get ready with me. I think I used to do them a little bit more a couple years ago um, in preparation for Eid. So all these looks that I'm bringing out for you guys is something that you can take inspiration from for your Eid look, um, whether you're going to be staying at home or going out because in the UK at the moment, things are starting to open up. So I hope you guys can take inspiration from these looks that I'm gonna be presenting you guys in this series. I've got four looks. This is the first one, and I'm gonna be showing you how I do the makeup in detail, how I pick the outfit. I've tried to include a look that will work for everyone. So there's definitely gonna be something that works for you. Today's look is an all black outfit with this very bold makeup, easy graphic liner, glowing skin, bold lips and the outfit is to die for. I can't wait for you guys to see this dress. Before we go ahead and start with the makeup, there's a few things I want to mention. Number one, me and my lovely, lovely friend Rima are doing a fundraiser for Lebanon. If you want to read more about it, I've put the link in the description box. Please, please go and support us. We are going to be actually going there next month to distribute the donations. So you're gonna be following our journey. And as you guys know, this month is the month of giving. So please, please do give whatever you can. And if you can't, please share it with your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to me, please make sure you press the subscribe button so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And trust me, you're gonna to wanna to be notified because the outfits I have planned for you guys, the looks I have planned for you guys, it's nothing like you've ever seen on me before. Let's just put it that way. Without further ado, let's get straight into this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Let's go. So this is my skin pre-makeup. As you guys can tell, probably comparing this to my other videos, my skin has improved. And if you want me to do a video all about skin and what I've changed in my regimen, please let me know in the comments and I shall do it for you. All right, so I first started with using my favorite DHC facial cream. By the way, all the details with all shades and anything that I don't mention in the voiceover is in the description box. So I've just prepped my skin and then I'm going to be priming using the Fenty Beauty Soft Silk Primer. This is my absolute favorite primer at the moment. As you guys know, I do prefer a moisturized base. I'm using this NARS liquid highlighter slash primer. I like to use it as a primer when I'm going for a super glowy look like I am today. Today is all about that glow, all about that glass skin. Next, I'm gonna be going in with Lottie London's new brow wax. I absolutely love this stuff. Recently discovered it. I think this is my favorite product from Lottie London and I'm very, very impressed. If you'd like to know a little bit more details of how I do my brows, I posted a video before this one all about my eyebrow routine. So make sure you go and check that out. All right, so now we're priming the eyelids. We want them nice and primed. This is my favorite primer, it's by NARS. I like the fact that it's not very thick, it's super light. It balances the tone of my eyelids without adding too much layers, which is what I like. And I do powder it a little bit, just to have a matte base for my shadow and my eye makeup. So this step is not really necessary, but I like the look of slightly brown blended eyelash lines because it gives me some definition that I really like. But like I said, this is not necessary and your eyeliner will probably cover it up. Okay, so you guys are gonna have to excuse me on the, you're gonna see this in a bit, but I did one of the eyes wrong and then I had to redo it, which is the eye that I'm doing right now. But this look is very, very simple. This eyeliner look is very, very simple. When you overcomplicate it, then that's when it gets difficult. But all you need to do is just do your normal liner, as you can see on screen right now, and make it quite long. And, the, and then just draw a line going inwards. 
at the top and then make it thick if you like i wanted to make it quite thick today or you can keep it thin it's completely up to you Next, I'm going in with my favorite natural lashes. These are by Isla. I go on about these all the time. I think these are the only lashes I've been wearing for quite a while now. They're number 117 and they are the most beautiful, natural, your lash but better kind of lashes. It has a completely invisible band as well, which is amazing. I do cut mine, as you guys can see, simply because my eyes are small and I have to like adjust it otherwise otherwise the eyelash will be hanging at the end of my eye all right so we're going straight into skin i am loving how dewy my skin is already looking and i'm gonna use a little bit of concealer just to conceal my blemishes because the foundation i'm using today is kind of like a tinted foundation it's not like a full coverage foundation so i want to have ultimate coverage without using too much foundation and i'm using the nars concealer here this is the soft matte i believe and it's in the shade praline this is a new fenty beauty ease drop foundation if you've not tried this i urge you to go and try it it's quickly become my favorite base product ever and the shade 11 is like the perfect shade for me like it couldn't get better than this i think i match with this shade more than i match with the shades in the other fenty beauty foundations i love how it blends i love the shade i love how glowy it looks i love the natural finish it gives me So for this look, I opted for cream contour just so that I can maintain that glowy skin without having too much powders on my skin. And I'm using this one by Nude Sticks. It's my favorite cream contour simply because the shade is perfect. It does look quite dark, but once you blend it in, it's not that pigmented. It's not as pigmented as it looks, basically. I'm going in with the NARS Creamy Concealer in Ginger under my eyes. And then I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Concealer in 190, which is quite light for me so that I can do a little highlight under eye situation. Next, I'm going to be powdering the under eye, and this is the first time I use the hourglass powder. You know I always use the Laura Mercier one. However, I absolutely loved this, and I think it might become my staple. It's stunning. I put whatever's left on my sponge on my the rest of my skin, but I didn't overdo it so that I still have that dewiness. And then we are going for lots of blush today. You guys know I'm not a blush kind of girl, but I thought this look deserved some rosy cheeks. Next, I'm going to be adding some mascara to my lashes. You want to act like they're your natural eyelashes in the sense that you want to give them a bit of volume to make them a bit more dramatic. So that's what I've done with this Lancome mascara, which is absolutely amazing, by the way. And then I'm going to be doing a little highlight. This is using the Fenty Beauty highlighter. And then this is the most gorgeous red lipstick ever, even though it did get all over my Invisalign. But we're going to pretend that didn't happen. And then, of course, I'm curling my lashes. I always do this. It makes sure that the lashes stick to your natural lash line and looks completely seamless and it also lifts them a little bit to make them a little bit more dramatic which is what we like and that is the makeup 
done girl i am obsessed with this look like i don't usually wear red like i rarely ever wear red lips but this eyeliner paired with the red lipstick is just wow look at the eyeliner please i added a little bit of arabic jewelry i absolutely love love this look i really want to do like a whole outfit with this jewelry one day all right next we're going to add some jewelry all the jewelry i've used today is from nominal i absolutely love their jewelry they have a sale on at the moment I have a necklace that says 1994 in Arabic numerals and these gorgeous rings. And then next, the outfit. Okay, so guys, with today's outfit, I had the help of Adam Verdi. He picked my outfit for me for this look. I asked him, listen, Adam, I know you're the king of black outfits. I need you to pick a really cool outfit for me. And he did. And by the way, these heels and the dress are linked below. They're from ASOS and the heels were on sale, only 11 pounds. And then I did a little bit of a turban situation using my Habibi de Silva scarf in Ashuk. And by the way, there's going to be a restock soon. In fact, very, very soon. I'm not going to give you a date yet, but it's going to happen extremely soon. That's all I'm saying. And that is how the outfit looks all together. I did add a belt. You don't have to because the dress actually cinches in the middle. But I really like the look of the gold detail on the belt with the rest of you know my jewelry and everything i can't get over this dress guys like let me know what you think in the comments but this dress is the best black dress i have ever owned in my life everything about it is just so me from the sleeves to the fabric to the lengths i really love these heels too i think they're just so chic i added a ysl bag with it you you can add whatever black and gold bag black and gold by the way is like the most beautiful combination and i really loved how everything went together in this look honestly i probably will wear this for the rest of the year for every occasion <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know what your favorite part of this look was. Was it the outfit? Was it the makeup? Was it the lips? Was it the eyes? And let me know if you would recreate it in the comments below. Love you guys and I'll see you next week. Bye.